Hi everyone, welcome to our part 4 NMC CBT mock test video for those preparing for CBT. In this video, we have included 25 multiple choice questions with answers. Besides, each answer comes with an answer reference, and that will help you to answer any other questions related to the same topic. We recommend you to take an online test after completing this section and check your score. Questions and options will be shuffled and given when you take an online test, and this challenge will really help you to thorough the answers. You can take test from the first link in the description. Question 1. As a nurse, which of the following conditions can be observed in a proper wound dressing? Option A, non-absorbent, humid, aerated. Option B, non-humid, absorbent, aerated. Option C, non-humid, non-absorbent, aerated. Option D, absorbent, humid, aerated. Correct answer is option D. Absorbent, humid, aerated. Nurses should know the methods of proper wound dressing. It should be absorbent, humid and aerated in order to absorb the wound exudate, decrease wound odor, protect the wound site from further trauma, and reduce bacterial colonization. Question 2. You are the nurse assigned in the recovery room or post-anesthetic care unit. What is the main priority of care in such an area? Option A, keeping patients pain-free. Option B, keeping neurological condition stable. Option C, keeping relatives informed about the condition of the patient. Option D, keeping the airway intact. Right answer is option D, keeping the airway intact. As a recovery room nurse, the main priority of care is to keep the patient's airway intact. Question 3. What should be called the person who is supervising a nursing student in the clinical area? Option A, preceptor. Option B, interceptor. Option C, supervisor. Option D, mentor. Option D is the correct answer. Mentor. As you know, a mentor is the person who is supervising a nursing student in the clinical area. Question 4. In your view, what is the best definition of patient-centered care? Option A, care is focused on the patient. Option B, care is focused on the environment. Option C, care is focused on the health team. Option D, care is focused on the doctor. Option A is the correct answer. Care is focused on the patient. As we know, patient-centered care means the care which is focused on the patient. Providing care that is respectful and responsible to individual patient preferences, needs and values. Question 5. If you are a new and inexperienced staff, which of the following actions will you do during your first day in the clinical area? Option A. Volunteer to do the drug rounds. Option B, help in admitting the patients. Option C, acknowledge your limitations, seek supervision from your team leader. Option D, answer all inquiries from the patients. Right answer is option C. Acknowledge your limitations, seek supervision from your team leader. Always remember, you are a new and inexperienced staff, so you have to acknowledge your limitations and seek supervision from your team leader to avoid mistakes. Question 6. Mr. James, 72 years old, is a registered blind admitted in your ward due to dehydration. He is encouraged to drink and eat to recover. As a registered nurse, how will you best manage this plan of care? Option A. Delegate someone to feed him. Option B. Ask the patient the assistance he needs. Option C. Ask the relatives to assist in feeding him. Option D. Look for the volunteer to assist with his needs. Option B is the right answer. Ask the patient the assistance he needs. As long as he is blind and dehydrated, the best way to manage him is to ask the patient the assistance he needs. Question 7. Which one of the following are the main responsibilities of an employer? Option A. Create opportunities for growth. Option B. Create ways to make networks. Option C. Provide a safe place for the employees. Option D. Provide entertainment to employees. Option C is the correct answer. Provide a safe place for the employees. 
we should expect a good employer should always provide safety for his employees. Question 8. An adult woman asks for the best contraception in view of her holiday travel to a diarrhea-prone area. She is currently taking oral contraceptives. What advice will you give to her? Option A, tell her to abstain from having sex because of HIV. Option B, tell her to use other methods like condom because diarrhea lessens the effects of OCP. Option C, tell her to bring lots of contraceptives because it will be expensive. Option D, tell her to continue taking her usual contraceptives. Answer is option B. Tell her to use other methods like condom because diarrhea lessens the effects of OCP. The best advice we can give to her is not to use oral contraceptives, instead use other methods, like condom, because diarrhea lessens the effects of OCP. Question 9. When a patient is approached and asked about giving his medications now, but you are unable to give the medicine, then what will be your initial action? Option A. Routinely document meds not given. Option B. Inform the doctor. Option C. Inform your team leader. Option D. Inform the pharmacist. Option A is the right answer. Routinely document meds not given. As you should know the medication safety in relation to nursing care. So the best action you should take when the patient is asked for his medication is to tell him that the routine medications are not given. We encourage you to take an online test after completing this section and check your score. Questions and options will be shuffled and given when you take an online test, and this challenge will really help you to thorough the answers. You can take test from the first link in the description. Question 10. Do you know which one of the following agencies sets the standards of education, training and conduct, and performance for nurses and midwives in the UK? Option A, DH. Option B, CQC. Option C, NMC. Option D, RCN. Option C is the right answer. NMC. The Nursing and Midwifery Council in the UK is responsible to set the standards of education, training and conduct and performance for nurses and midwives in the UK. Question 11. Tony's heart rate slows down when he is on Lenoxin 500 microgram. In your opinion, what is this referred to? Option A, hypertension. Option B, bradycardia. Option C, hypertension. Option D, tachycardia. Answer is option B, bradycardia. Generally, in bradycardia heart rate is slower than the expected rate, and beating is fewer than 60 beats per minute. Question 12. When you are looking after a patient in a side room requiring reverse isolation precautions, you have noticed the lack of PPE supplies. Who will you escalate it at initially? Option A, head of the department. Option B, immediate nurse manager. Option C, the one in charge of supplies. Option D, infection control team. Option C is the correct answer. The one in charge of supplies. Generally, supply in charge has the responsibility for the supplies and materials needed for the departments. So if you have noticed the lack of PPE supplies in the isolation room, you will need to escalate it initially to the one who is responsible for the supplies. Question 13. In case of a needle stick injury, what should the nurse do initially? Option A. Encourage wound to bleed and wash with water. Option B. Make an incident report. Option C, report to occupational health. Option D, visit accident and emergency for treatment. Correct answers are options A and B. Encourage the wound to bleed, wash with water, and make an incident report. In case of a needle stick injury, we should do the first aid initially and to make the report. So we have to encourage them to bleed the wound, wash with water, and make an incident report. Question 14. In which stage of pressure ulcer you can find tissue involvement and crater formation? Option A, stage 1. Option B, stage 2. Option C, stage 3. Option D, stage 4. 
Options B and C are the right answers. Stage 2 and 3. As we all know the stages of pressure ulcers in stage 2 and 3, includes tissue involvement and crater formation. Question 15. A doctor prescribed Lenoxin 500 microgram orally for Tony. What vital sign will you need to assess prior to giving the drug? Option A, respiration rate and depth. Option B, heart rate and rhythm. Option C, urine output. Option D, temperature. Correct answer is option B, heart rate and rhythm. As a nurse, it is very important to know the actions of medication before administering it to the patient. Lenoxin is used to treat arrhythmia and heart failure. So it is very important to monitor heart rate and rhythm prior to Lenoxin administration. Question 16. If you are the nurse on Ward C with 14 patients, your fellow incoming nurses called that she is sick and cannot come to work on your shift. What will be your best action in this situation? Option A, continue with your shift and delegate some responsibilities to the nursing assistant. Option B, fill out an incident form about the staffing condition. Option C, ask the colleague to look for someone to cover. Option D, review patient intervention, set priorities, ask the supervisor to hand over extra staff. Correct answer is option D. Review patient intervention, set priorities, ask the supervisor to hand over extra staff. If your fellow incoming nurses call that she is sick and cannot come to work, the best action in this situation is to review patient intervention, set priorities, and ask the supervisor to hand over extra staff. Question 17. The word accountability means what in your opinion? Option A, love. Option B, peace. Option C, care. Option D, responsibility. The right answer is option D, responsibility. As we all know that the meaning of accountability is the responsibility. Question 18. Which of the following is not included in covert communication? Option A, appearance. Option B, body language. Option C, eye contact. Option D, tone of voice. Right answer is option A. Appearance. As you know covert communication is used for the exchange of information. It can be defined as unobservable behavior which leads to certain actions like body language, eye contact and tone of the voice. We recommend you to take an online test after completing this section and check your score. Questions and options will be shuffled and given when you take an online test and this challenge will really help you to thorough the answers. You can take test from the first link in the description. Question 19. What is an indication that a suicidal patient has an impending suicide plan? Option A, talk or write about death, dying or suicide. Option B, threaten to hurt or kill themselves. Option C, she slash he is cheerful and seems to have a happy disposition. Option D, actively look for ways to kill themselves, such as stockpiling tablets. Right answers are option C and D. She slash he is cheerful and seems to have a happy disposition and actively look for ways to kill themselves, such as stockpiling tablets. In general, a suicidal patient always has mood swings. Suddenly becoming calm after a period of depression or moodiness can be a sign that the person has made a decision to end their life. Question 20. Early ambulation can prevent all complications except what? Option A, surgical site infection. Option B, chest infection and lung collapse. Option C, muscle wasting. Option D, thrombosis. Option A is the correct answer. Surgical site infection. As we know early ambulation stimulates circulation, which can help stop the development of stroke causing blood clots, not the surgical site infection. Question 21. How can we prevent Clostridium difficile, C. diff, infections? Option A, washing your hands with soap and water. Option B, using repellent gowns. Option C, limit visiting times. Option D, using hand gels. Right answers are options A and B. 
washing your hands with soap and water, and using repellent gowns. Strategies used to prevent Clostridium difficile, C. diff, infections are to isolate the patient and initiate contact precautions by washing your hands with soap and water and using repellent gowns. Question 22. While supervising a student nurse performing a drug round, what would the NMC expect you to do the following at all times? Option A, allow the student to give drugs and sign the chart at the end of shift. Option B, supervise the entire procedure and sign the chart. Option C, delegate the supervision of the student to a senior nursing assistant and ask for feedback. Option D, allow the student to observe but not sign on the chart. Answer is option B. Supervise the entire procedure and sign the chart. While supervising a student nurse performing a drug, it is your responsibility to supervise the entire procedure and sign the chart to avoid medication errors. Question 23. Which of the following equipment included as respiratory protective equipment? Option A, mask. Option B, gloves. Option C, apron. Option D, paper towels. Answer is option A, mask. We should expect respiratory protective equipment that covers the nose and mouth or the entire face or head to guard the wearer against hazardous atmosphere. Question 24. When can a nurse divulge patient's information? Option A, requested by family members. Option B, asked by media personnel for broadcast and publication. Option C, required by employer. Option D, it can pose threats to the public and when it is ordered by the court. Answer is option D. It can pose as threats to the public and when it is ordered by the court. As a nurse, you are responsible for ensuring that all the records containing patient information are kept securely. You can only divulge a patient's information if it can pose as threats to the public or when it is ordered by the court. Question 25. When administering an injection in the buttocks, where should it be given? Option A, right lower quadrant. Option B, left lower quadrant. Option C, right upper quadrant. Option D, left upper quadrant. The correct answer is option C and D. Right upper quadrant and left upper quadrant. As a nurse it is important to know the methods used to administer injection in the buttocks. Injection will be administered in the upper outer quarter of the buttocks. It is also called gluteus medius or dorsogluteal injections. If you find our pinpointed presentation useful please like our video. More precise medical subjects will be uploaded in the coming days. To get the notification, consider subscribing our channel. Visit our YouTube channel for more clear-cut medical subjects. Thanks for watching.